everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel, Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you a reading vlog. Hi guys, it is 4.57 p.m. on Monday, the 24th of September. Welcome to a new reading vlog. The last reading vlog for September. Um, I just got home from work. Um, I had to leave a little bit early today because I have a physio appointment. Normally I have my physio appointments on Wednesdays, but on Wednesday this week, my niece is performing in her school choir um, at the Light Festival Theatre in Adelaide, so I'm going to that on Wednesday night. So I had to make my, the only other night of the week that I can do it is Monday, um, and then my, the only appointment I could get, um, which is good in a way because it meant I didn't clash with knitting. Is at 5.20, so I need to leave. Um, the physio is really close to my house. I need to leave in like 10 minutes or so. Um, so, that is my plans. I've got physio and then knitting. Uh, so, in terms of a reading update. So, I mentioned in the last clip of the last vlog that I had started Watership Down by Richard Adams. I was about 30 pages of the way through then. I only read about another 30 pages last night. I was on page, I want to say 68, um, and I've read like 20, just over 20 pages um, today so far. I'm on page, I worked straight through lunch because I had to leave early. Um, so I'm currently on page 91. This is almost 500 pages, so kind of a fifth of the way through, not even. So I don't know how I feel about this. I actually had a look at... I didn't read the reviews, but I had a quick look at the ratings of people that I follow and am friends with on Goodreads to kind of see what the vibe, like, you know, general vibe of people's feelings was. Almost everyone I'm friends with gave this a four or a five star rating. I think there was one three star and one one star, but all the rest of the ratings, and a lot of people have read this, were four or five star ratings. So this is loved. I'm finding this just a little bit boring to the point where I was considering DNFing it that's why I looked at the ratings so I think I'm going to push through for like another 50 pages at least to see um whether it starts to get like part two I just was flipping through and I can see part two starts on page like 120 so like that's only like another 30 pages I'm going to read at least to there to kind of see whether it picks up because I kind of don't want to DNF this because um, it, it does seem to be so loved, but I don't want to push my way through a 500 page book if it's not going to get kind of any better. Because at the moment, it's just literally about rabbits having left their, who like leave there. One of them has like a prophetic moment where he thinks that, um, he knows that something bad is going to happen. And so a small group of the rabbits from that warren end up leaving and going out to kind of find somewhere else to live. So... It's really not that interesting so far. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then I did start a new audiobook today. Um, so I had one audiobook like that had come in from Hold that I was really excited about because it was Stardust by Neil Gaiman, and I've wanted to read that book for a long time. However, it turns out that what I had was like not the normal audiobook what my library had. It was like a BBC dramatization. Um like, it was only three hours long. I'm not really sure what the go was. And I decided I didn't want to listen to that because I want to listen. If I'm, I wanted to listen to an audiobook because I've heard that Neil Gaiman narrates his own books. And I want to, and Stardust is one of his books. Well, probably the book that I'm most excited for of his to, to try. Um, so anyway, I decided that that's not what I wanted to listen to. So I just returned that straight away. Um, and so I just went through quickly through the available now section on the bus on the way to work to find something else to listen to. And I ended up starting House by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. Hi, Winifred. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, you can't stay there. You're going to have to get down. I know, honey. I know. Okay. Apologies. Um, oh, my battery's about to die. Um, House by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. I don't love this either. I'm 53% of the way through. So, 
over halfway and this is just like kind of a haunted house there's a couple two different couples are driving along and then they run over like someone's put out like spikes on the road to to just like ruin their cars and they pull over and they end up going to, to this like hotel bed and breakfast type thing um where there's this really weird couple um with their like adult son and then some like weird shit starts to happen i don't really like it I can't even really put my finger on what I don't like about it, but I just don't really like it. So I am going to listen to the rest of it tomorrow because I don't have anything else that's like come off hold or anything. And I'll listen to the rest of it because I am over halfway through. But, oh, Winifred, honestly, we're all on battery here, babe. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'll have a look at other reviews and stuff once I've finished it and kind of see what other thoughts are and see if I can kind of pinpoint what I'm feeling about it. But so far, I'm not really loving that. But that is it because my battery is about to die. I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow. Bye, guys. Say bye, Winnie. Bye. Hi, guys. It is 5.42 p.m. on Thursday, the 25th of September. We're on the last dregs of daylight. Daylight saving starts this weekend, though. Woohoo. So, whew, I just got home from work a little while ago. And then when I got home, I've just been feeding the cat and taking out the rubbish and the recycling and scooping the kitty litter and all those fun, fun tasks. I have boxing tonight, so I need to leave in like 10 minutes. So I've literally got to film this clip now um, and then get changed and go to boxing. So um, in terms of a reading update, so I didn't end up reading any more of Watership Down by Richard Adams last night. I don't know why. There's no particular reason. I just... I just didn't read before I went to bed for some reason. Um, so I have read a little bit today on the bus on my commute. I'm currently on page 119, so I've only read like 30 pages. Um, I'm probably maybe enjoying this a little bit more now on that 30 pages. I think I'm going to continue on with it. Hopefully I can get a bit. I've got boxing and then I've, there is a video that I really would like to get edited and uploaded tonight. Um, I don't know whether that's going to happen. Because um, normally I have these goals and then I come home after I've been out, after I've already been at work all day and then I have to go do something and then I come home and I'm just, can't be fucked, <laughs> to be honest. Um, can't be fucked seems to be pretty much the theme of my life right now. So, I've read 30 pages. I feel like this is going to take me forever to get through, which is worrisome because I have a lot of library due dates breathing down my neck. But hopefully, maybe I can get a bit more of this read. Tomorrow, I'm also not sure how much of it I'm going to get read tomorrow, actually, because oh, maybe I don't know. So I've got my niece has a choir performance on at the Festival Theatre tomorrow. So I'm actually staying like in the city because there's not enough time for me to come home and then go in with everyone else. Um, so I'm just meeting my, fa my family there. So I don't really know what that means in terms of what time I'm going to leave work and... If I'm going to work back or I don't really know what the plan is. So, um, yeah, I just know that I probably won't be home until later because I think her performance is not till 7.30. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to go for and then we've got to come home from the city. So I don't really know what reading I'm going to get done. But maybe I'll have a lot of time to read this tomorrow. I don't really know. I also won't be taking the bus home because I'll be coming back with my family. So I'll only have my commute in when I normally don't get as much read on my commute in. Anyway, so I read a little bit of that. I did finish the audiobook today for House by... Who's it by again? Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. I didn't like it. Uh, I really didn't like it. It's got pretty mixed reviews. So I also didn't realise that the book is Christian fiction. So it's horror, but it's like horror Christian fiction. Um, and I didn't realize that going into it. And I will say that the Christian fiction part is really only kind of comes up towards the end and it did feel like tacked on. And to me, and I say this 100% as a non-religious person, it almost seemed sacrilegious. Like, I was like, 
can, like, can you say that? Like, I thought that was something that, like, you weren't supposed to say. So I don't know. But I didn't like it. I didn't like it before. I mentioned that I didn't like it yesterday, and that's well before any of the Christian fiction theme come up. It switches POVs a lot. Didn't think that was very well done at all. All of the characters are extremely one-dimensional. You've got some very, like, backstory type things kind of mentioned here and there throughout the novel, but then it just never expanded on, like, at all. And I was like, what's the point of even kind of mentioning, like, you've got a character who they seem to be kind of hinting had an abusive father, but then you don't really get any, like, further backstory on it. And then you've got a female character who's a psychologist, and you kind of get some mentionings of, like, something that's gone on with her, and then at one point she's like, he's referring to herself as a slut which I didn't like, or that she's a whore, I think it was, and, but that was never really explained, I'm like, what's going on with that, and then you've got this other married couple who have this whole, kind of like, they're basically planning to, like, get divorced, and I was like, they had the most terrible, even for a couple getting divorced, like, the most terrible, like, married couple kind of relationship I've, like, ever seen or heard about, I didn't like that the people who are kind of in the house when they come across the house are described as inbreds constantly. And I'm like, what makes them inbreds? Is it because the adult's son has a mental disability? Because that's disgusting for you to just assume that they're inbred because there's nothing... And like inbred is used constantly throughout the novel. And I was like, where, like, what evidence do you have that these people are inbred? It's a married couple with a son. How are they inbred? I'm not saying that they're not, but like, well, you don't know that they are. Like, it was just, and then um, I didn't like the portrayal of the um, character with the mental um, disability. Um, it's a villain character in the novel. So there's that, you know, someone who... Oh, it was just, I just thought, I just didn't think it was well portrayed. I, I really hated this book. I'm giving it one star. There's nothing about it that I enjoyed. In fact, there was a part right near the end, I was like 94% of the way through, that I didn't quite capture exactly what had gone on. And I was like, should I rewind? Why bother? I was like, I just didn't care enough to even go back and like get all the details of it because I just, I really, really, really didn't like it. Um, definitely one of the worst books I've read this year. Um, a far out Winifred. I can see that she's knocked over a stack of books and it looks like the covers are bent. Good times. So, yeah, that is kind of it for my reading update. I best go now because I need to leave in like five minutes and I still have to get changed. I'm not sure what time I'll check in with you guys tomorrow or what's going to happen with tomorrow's check-in. Um, it may be that I don't end up checking in tomorrow, in which case I'll check in with you guys on Thursday instead. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure. Wish me luck that I can get. I also don't know that I'm going to listen to another audiobook this week because I don't have any that have come in and I've already listened to one this week that I didn't like. So I just feel like maybe I'll just focus on podcasts for the rest of this week um, and hope that and one of my many holds comes off hold um, before next week which would be in October's vlog anyway. So, yeah. I thought my hair looks kind of good on camera today, which is interesting. And I'm about to throw it straight up into a ponytail for boxing. And I have to wash it. But, yeah. Not much else to report. I'll talk to you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is... Oh, God. It's 5.26 p.m. on Thursday, the 27th of September. Um, so, as predicted, I didn't end up filming a clip for you guys yesterday. Um, I went straight from work um, to meet my sister um, as I went to watch my niece perform in, like, the festival of music thing, which, like, a bunch of different schools. Um, my niece was performing in, like, the choir. Um, I went to, to that. It was really good. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm glad I went along to that, but I didn't get home till like 20 till 11, which is way past my bedtime for a weeknight. Um, and then I didn't end up going to work today. Um, I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I've just been feeling, I don't know, I've been waking up, um, I've been waking up with a headache, like basically every day for like the past 
week and this morning I think after having a late night I just was really not feeling very well I ended up sleeping most of today um yeah it is what it is I'm definitely going to work tomorrow even if I still have a headache because I don't think I've mentioned in the vlog yet we actually have a holiday weekend here this weekend um Monday is a holiday it's a public holiday I'm in South Australia um it is Labor Day so um yeah I won't be going to work on Monday so I definitely don't want to have the Friday I mean I'd love to have Friday off but you know I can't afford to do that so and I don't have any personal leave at work anyway so I'm already like I won't be paid for today um but yeah so just generally been feeling I've also my hay fever has been really bad already this season so I think that's not been helping either so yeah it is what it is however so I slept most of today I didn't read hardly anything at all like I don't even really know where I've been at with my reading since I last spoke to you guys no Winifred no no um but I no um, but I have read, like, I once I woke up, like, I woke up a couple of hours ago, and I've been reading basically since then, so I am still reading Watership Down, however, I've made decent-ish progress now, so I'm now on page 301, so less than 200 pages to go, Winifred, no, she's trying to chew on a packet of food that I have here, that I really need to take back to the kitchen, which I'll do, it's because it's her dinner time, Winifred, no, I'm going to move you, Apologies for the constant interruptions. So, um, what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought now. So, yeah, I've got less than 200 pages left to go. Um, I'm really hopeful that I can get most of the way. I would love to finish this tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I would love to get really far, like, like really far through this. Um, I do also want to edit the previous vlog um, tonight if I'm feeling up for it. Um, my headache is kind of still kind of lingering um, there just now, but I'm going to go take some more um, painkillers when I feed the cat. Uh, and, yeah, that's about it, really. Don't have much to report. Apologies for my appearance. I'm, still, I'm in my pajamas and I haven't brushed my hair. And, yeah, so I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys. I normally forget to film a well, not forget, I normally don't end up filming a clip on Friday, but I will because I already haven't filmed the clip this week. And it'll be an exciting Friday because it's the Friday of a holiday weekend, which is always a good thing. I think I mentioned that Daylight Savings starts this weekend. Uh, that's incorrect. It starts next weekend, but I'm so excited about that. So, yeah, that's it, I think, for this clip. I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I get home from work, fresh and ready for a holiday weekend. Bye, guys. Hi guys, it is, ugh, reach for my phone, 5.13pm on Friday the 28th of September, it is officially, is that, oh no, I thought for a second I had a crack on my um, viewfinder, it wasn't a crack, it was a cat hair, <laughs> crisis averted, so sorry, it is 5.13pm on Friday the 28th of September, um, I just got home from work, it is finally the long weekend, Huzzah! I'm really excited. Um, I don't really have any plans either. Um, I'm not sure if my sister's coming around tonight. Uh, I sent her a message, but I haven't heard back from her. Um, I'm not sure because they're leaving. They're going to Queensland for three weeks um, on holidays, my sister's family. Um, and they're leaving early tomorrow morning. They're driving and they're leaving early tomorrow morning. So I'm not sure whether she'll want to come around considering that they're leaving early. So I'm not sure. Um... And then apart from that, my only real plans, I've got a whole kind of to-do list that I'm putting together tonight of things that I just want to accomplish over the long weekend because I've mentioned many a time, my house slowly over the soccer season every year slowly descends into just chaos. And that is where we're at. My house is fucking so messy, just so untidy. There is shit everywhere. Um... And I just need to really dedicate some time to tidying it up. And I want, like, I've got so much washing that needs to be done. Because not only is it soccer season and I'm so busy, but it can coincides with winter. And because it's winter, clothes take so long to dry. Like, I don't have a dryer. So I can only really do one load of washing a week. Um, and then, God forbid, there's a week where I don't get to do that load. Um... Not only am I, like, scraping the bottom of my wardrobe to put together clothes to wear to work and such, but 
um, my washing slowly builds up. Like I have to start prioritizing what I wash. Like obviously the first items, like okay, first priorities, work stuff, and then the stuff that I don't wear too often that just builds and builds and builds at the bottom of the washing basket that I just never get around to washing. God forbid I get to do. Luckily I own so many towels and things like that because, you know, finding the time to wash those in winter when I can't hang them outside for the most part is just, it's a struggle. Um, to talk about tangent, but I've got so many things like I want to get all my washing done. Um, even though the weather isn't really warm, I'm probably going to change from my winter sheets to my summer sh like sheets, my summer bedding. Um, yeah, and I just really want to get on top of things this weekend. But I also really do want to like relax, and because I feel like I've mentioned a lot over the past like month or so, I've been feeling really burnt out lately. Um, and just really like in a rut generally, but like really kind of just burnt out. And so I really do want to take some time to relax. Um, so it's a balancing act of finding time to relax, but also because I feel like I'll feel less stressed about my life a little bit <laughs> if I can get on top of stuff. Like it's partly always in the back of my mind that stuff is so unorganized in my house. I mean, I do plan. One of the things I wanted to get myself, this is such a tangent, but you know, sometimes you just got to go on these tangents. Um, one of the things I planned to give myself for my 30th birthday, um, which I turned 30 three months ago yesterday, so it's been a while and I still haven't done it, is hiring a cleaner. I plan to get a cleaner because I'm just at that stage in my life where I'm like, I can afford to do it. Um, why don't I? Why do I have this expectation on myself that I should be able to do it all myself when I live alone? So granted, the mess is all my fault, but I'm so busy a lot of the time. I just, I don't have the time to dedicate to it. And then when I do have some spare time to do it, I can only focus on the big tasks, like obviously like cleaning the bathroom and things like that, that I focus on doing that. So then the smaller jobs just don't get done and they just continually get put off until it gets to the point where it's like, okay, this is really getting out of hand. But in order to hire the cleaner, I wanted to get on top of tidying the house up first. Like, I couldn't have a cleaner come in here with the way that the house is at the moment. Like, there's literally shit everywhere. Um, and I also think it'll motivate me having a cleaner come in. I think I'm going to get them in fortnightly. Um, I think having someone come in fortnightly will motivate me to tidy up at least once a fortnight because I'll know that someone's coming. And it's not just my mum who I can say, don't look at the mess. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm hoping that if I get around this weekend to really getting on top of organizing and tidying up the place, that I can finally look into properly getting cleaner in, which is something I've been wanting so badly. So, yeah, that was a massive tangent. But moving on to a reading update. So, last night I was reading Watership Down. I mentioned that in my vlog. I actually got through quite a chunk. I was on page 416, I want to say. No, that's wrong. Somewhere around the 410, in the like 410 to 420 range. So I had about 60 pages to go where I finished off last night. So I was really happy with that. And I have read today and I just realized that my, my bookmark, I did the old where I put the bookmark at a different spot in the book and then realized I was getting close to my stop and shut the book and didn't realize that my bookmark wasn't in the right spot. So let me quickly determine what um, page I'm on. Oh, here we go. I'm right here. I flicked almost to the perfect spot. I'm on page 433, so I didn't read heaps today. Um, but there's 470 something, 474 something. So I've literally got like 40 pages to go now. I really thought that I read more than that today. So I did read a little bit on my lunch break and a little bit on the bus on the way home. So I don't know. Clearly I didn't read as much as I thought, but that's okay. I've only got like 30 pages, so I'm definitely finishing this tonight. So that is good. Um, because I feel like that book has been, I've been reading that for forever. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts on it when I check in tomorrow, um, once I've finished it. <sighs> I also didn't end up editing the vlog last night, the previous vlog, and I really need to do that. So that is my plan if I don't do that tonight, because I think there's a possibility that I won't. Um, I want to, but I'm really unmotivated when I get home from work these days. Like I said, because I'm being so tired and so burnt out and all of those things. I'm like, the headache that I had yesterday is still kind of hanging around. Like, I still, like, I've got a headache right now. Um, I also feel like maybe I'm not drinking as much water as I should. I'm normally good about drinking water when I'm at work, but I don't know. I feel like I've been distracted and busy, and I definitely need to really be conscious of my water intake as well to try and make sure it's not that I'm, like, partly dehydrated and, and things as well. 
So, because like right now I'm thinking that my mouth's a little bit dry. I think that's partly just because I've been talking too much. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. If I don't edit the vlog tonight, I want to do it in the morning. Um, once I get home from coffee. Because apart from coffee, that is literally my only like solid, solid plan of something that I know that I'm definitely doing. It is grand final day um, tomorrow, which means it's the AFL. I've mentioned the AFL a few times in my vlogs, Australian football. It's the grand final tomorrow. My team or anything's not in it, but it is like a massive just day in Australia generally. It's like the biggest sporting event of the year. Um, and then our shops don't open over um, the, like on the holiday on the Monday. So the shops will be crazy this weekend because people act like it's, you know, freaking the end of the world is coming. Like it's one day that you can't go to the shops, but people just go crazy. So I guess as well, because people are having a lot of like barbecues and parties and things uh, because there's, it is a holiday, but yeah. So anyway, oh my God, just tangents of Palooza tonight. It's because I'm excited that it's the weekend, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. Weekend. Yeah. Brought to you by my fantastic singing. Hi guys, it is 11.07 a.m. on Saturday the 29th of September. I'm at the library as per usual. Um, I just got back, um, I had coffee and stuff this morning with my parents. Um, and then I came home, changed the kitty a little, and then came to the library. So, um, in terms of a reading update, so last night... I finished Watership Down by Richard Adams. Oh, this was just okay for me. I think I mentioned at the start that I just didn't really get it. It took me quite a while to get into. Um, and I did get into it more so than what I was at the start. But for me, it was just very, like, run-of-the-mill. Like, I don't really get the point of it. It's just a story about rabbits and it's about a group of rabbits like there's this one rabbit named Fiverr who has kind of this prophetic he can like you know see things and he starts to feel like in the warren that they're in that something really really bad is going to happen and no one really believes him except for his like good friend Hazel who's a boy and then they get a small group of rabbits together who believe him and they basically leave this warren to set out on their own to find a new place to live. And it's basically just about that story. I just, I guess I don't really get the point of this. <laughs> like, like I said, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like just a fun adventure novel for children. If that's the case, why is it almost 500 pages? Um, a lot of this I felt like could have been cut out, but like it was okay. It was fun, I guess, in parts, kind of sad in parts. I do plan to watch the movie. I feel like this is one of those movies that they say that people watched as like a kid's movie because it was animated, but like totally like tears your heart out, which I'm interested to see in the movie because I don't really feel like there were that many parts in this that like really like would tear my heart out. So I'm probably going to watch the movie this weekend, but at some point, but so this was just okay for me. I'm giving this like a three star. Like, it was nothing wrong with it, but I just don't think that this was anything, like, spectacular. Which surprises me, because most of the people I've, I'm friends with and follow on Goodreads have given this four or five stars. There's a couple of lower ratings, but for the most part, this is a four or five star rating for people. So, I don't know. I guess I just didn't really get it. Maybe if I'd read this when I was younger, I don't know. Um, I then started, I don't have the book with me, it's at home, but I did start Pride by Rachel Vincent. Is it Pride? Yeah, Pride. That's the third. This is the third book in the Shifters series. And I actually got like about 90 pages of the way through that last night. So I was pretty happy with how much I managed to read last night. I'm hoping to get that book done before the end of September. So that's tomorrow. It's the last day of September. So if I get that finished by tomorrow, which I feel like is doable, it's just over 400 pages, I think. So, and I'm already 90 pages of the way through. So I have just over 300 pages to read. Um, thereabouts uh, over like today and tomorrow. I think that is very doable. Um, and like I've mentioned, I don't really have a lot of plans this weekend. Of course. Nope, they're not going to the car next to me. It's okay. It's like, I feel like every time I film, not every time, but like so many times I'm sitting here and then someone goes to the car next to me. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too many plans this weekend. I think I'm going around for dinner at my parents' place 
tomorrow night and we're having a barbecue just the four of us my parents and my nan because i think i mentioned yesterday my sister has now gone away on holidays on like family holidays to queensland and my brother and his girlfriend are still in europe i think they're in ireland at the moment so um yeah they're still away and my sister is now away so it'll just be the four of us um but apart from that like going around for like those like two dinner type of things i don't really have any plans except like i've mentioned doing a lot of stuff around the house but when i do stuff around the house i actually get a lot read because i've mentioned before the way i generally do it is i'll i'll like watch booktube or listen to music or whatever while i'm doing that and i'll you know set a like time limit or a video limit i'll watch like three videos and then read a couple of chapters and that's like a way that I do manage to keep myself a bit more motivated when I am cleaning and tidying because I hate it so so much but yeah that is I think it for this clip I will talk to you guys tomorrow I guess and um, if I finish pride tonight I may check in with you guys sooner but I don't think I'll finish it today but you never know but yeah I'll talk to you guys again soon bye guys hi guys it is 11 18 a.m on Sunday the 30th of September so I had a productive-ish morning so far, so I had a little bit of a sleep in. I got up at about 9, had breakfast, put on a load of washing. I've since hung that load of washing out. I've also completely edited this vlog with the exception of today's clips and the intro-outro so that that is pretty much ready to go. I only just posted my previous vlog um, last night because it took me fucking forever to get it uploaded. Oh, my computer and my internet lately have just been driving me crazy. But so, I only just uploaded that tonight, last night, but I still want to get this one uploaded tonight. I never normally do that. Um, but I really want to get back on track with my really good schedule of uploading in October. And if I don't put this up um, tonight, then I will already be behind. So, I'm just going to, whatever, I'm just going to post vlogs immediately two days in a row. Um... So I completely edited that. Like I said, I've done a load of washing. I am now just headed out for coffee. Um, I'm just going through Macca's drive through to pick up. I'm actually going to get a coffee frappe because it's a really nice day today and I haven't had a frappe in a while. Um, because I need some caffeine and then I'm going to come home. Today is my productive day. So yesterday I completely edited that vlog, but it was grand final day. I watched a grand final that was on and... Um, I did a few things, but didn't get a lot done. And I want tomorrow to primarily be my relaxation day. Um, I am still planning to do filming tomorrow. I want to get, like, at least my wrap-up and my TBR filmed tomorrow. Um, and at least one of those edited. But apart from that, like, I will still relax tonight. Like, I'm going to my parents' place for dinner tonight. Once I come back from dinner, like, I'll just probably, like, watch a movie. Like, you know, relax. Um... But I want to really get a lot done today. Like I said, I've already done a load of washing. I've actually put on a load of towels just as I left. So that, that will be ready to hang out not too long later today. And now I'm just planning to really get on with, once I have my caffeine here, get on with getting shit done in the house. That's the plan. So, um, I am still reading Pride by Rachel Vincent. I didn't get a huge amount read yesterday because I was watching the grand final, so I wasn't really reading while that was on. And when I was editing the last vlog, I wasn't really reading. And then I watched a few movies last night. Oh, I should mention, I will mention quickly, I did watch, um, I'm going to have to switch arms. My arm is killing me. I did watch last night Watership Down, the movie. I liked it probably less than the book, um, only because while the book felt really long-winded, the movie felt really rushed. It's an almost 500-page book turned into an animated movie that is just under 90 minutes. So it's a short movie, and it just felt like it was just like bang, 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 bang. There was no like character development. You didn't have time to get attached to any of the characters or any of that stuff. So I just, like, meh, whatever. So I think I gave that a 2.5, whereas I gave the book 3. Um, but I am still reading this. So I read a little bit yesterday and I have read a little bit already today, like amongst doing things. I'm currently on page 205. So I think I'm, how many pages is this? This is 425 pages. So I'm almost halfway. My aim is still to get this done today. I've mentioned before the way that I read, like while I'm getting stuff done, I predict I can get a bunch of this read during the day. And then if worse comes to worse, I'll just read whatever I have left before I go to bed. The plan is still to get this done. I don't think 
that I'll talk to you guys about my thoughts on this until the next vlog for, Octo for the start of October because I probably won't read it till later and I, like I've mentioned, I want to get that this vlog uploaded tonight. So in order to do that, <laughs> I won't be able to add another clip. So I feel like my nose looks weird. Does it ever have that where you just like focus on one part of your body and you're like, what? Like, does, does my nose always look like that? Anyway, so the plan is still to get this read tonight. I may check in with you guys later on this afternoon um, if I manage to like maybe get through this or, but probably not. This will probably be the last clip before the outro. So I'll see you guys again soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this last reading vlog for September. I don't think this one was too, too long, which is always a good thing. So please like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and more reading vlogs in particular. That is all I have for this video today. Bye guys.